She left her off the list. I've screwed oh, up. Security. Her mom, her mom was our mom's youngest sister. So that Lyle and my dad were members of the greatest generation for sure. And I'd like to just offer a quick tribute to them in the traditional Navy way. Two bells. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to welcome to CJ's bar, with full arms open welcome, our newest friend, J.R. Richards. That was an excellent introduction. I, the bells gave me chills. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, just a quick side note, um, my, uh, my grandfather was part of the Air Corps. He flew in World War II, he flew P-51 P Mustangs in the European theater. But uh, before he did that, he was training in Hawaii, because he was an Olympic diver in the late 30s, and then joined the Air Force, or Air Corps at the time. And uh, on December 7th, that morning, he was training somebody on the north side of the island, uh, and, and saw what was going on in the radio traffic, and they had to ditch the plane in a cane field, and walk back to what was a just completely destroyed air base at that point. So, which just motivated him even more so to, to stick to it and he eventually found himself in England flying escorted bombers into uh, Germany. Pretty amazing. Yeah. My, father, my father was also Navy too, he was a submariner, which is cool. Wow. And uh, he, uh, he, he got a, a very bright guy, he got a, a scholarship to uh, Stanford, but it was only a partial one, so the Navy paid for the rest. So uh, he's very, very grateful for that. And, uh, yeah. So I was just in White Bear Lake. White Bear Lake, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I worked there, so I worked there. Okay, yeah. you know about it. 
So we were from Minnesota, right? Yeah. Okay, that's no, all right. All right. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so we so we made the right answer. Yeah. 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 Singer. 
you know, and, and so many, I mean, bless his heart, uh, quite the character, but, um, but so many people have covered his songs, and you realize how magical his songs are. You know, Shrek just made that song. <laughs> it's just, it's just incredible. Anyway, this is, um, this is a song, I was in a band called Dishwalla, we were, you know, yeah. sold, sold a bunch of albums, uh, 90s, early 2000s, um, and uh, this is one of my favorite songs from the last album that I was on, and I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a, a TV show called Smallville. Yes. Okay. Right, so Superman when he was kind of late teens, moving into college years, um, so in an episode of Smallville, this, this song is, is him. Um, I think this is this is actually pre pre Lois Lane. This is when he was dating a young lady named Lana. So um, anyway, right. So but I think at some point at the end of one season, he apparently dies, and of course he's the Man of Steel, right? So it's not gonna happen. So at the beginning of the next season, he shows up at her door, and one of the coolest things as a, as a songwriter when you write a song and. They say it's going to be in a movie, and they, they accept it, and you're like, yes, it's going to be amazing. So often, it's not as great as you think. Often it will be, uh, you know, it might be two of the main characters having lunch at a busy restaurant, and their song is playing over the speakers, <laughs> and, that kind of thing. and you're like, I think I can hear it. But uh, in this case, this song was awesome, because what they had done is, is, is he comes to the door and knocks on it, and she sees him, and he opens the door, and they're looking at each other down this hallway. All the environmental sound goes down to nothing, and it's just the song for the wow. And it's like, yeah, home runs. So. Wow. <laughs> and, um, and of course, then they slow it down and they go rushing and, and embrace each other. The song's called Collide, so it, it made, made sense. Anyway, yeah. enough of me chatting. Uh, we'll back on. This is why I'm pretty good. Oh, mistake 
it's a When we collide, we lose ourselves. When we collide, we break and sue. And as we push and we shove, we are the ones we love. It's a And it's a South of Oxford, so it's southwesterly. My mother's British, and all seven of her, six of her sisters still live there. Oh, fantastic! Fantastic. I mean, I come from Scot, Scot Wales, Welsh, Scottish, Scottish. My wife's Scottish, so with a very posh British accent, though. Oh, Queen's English. It's like yes, absolutely. She always says you speak properly. It's absolutely unacceptable. Time. 
uh, drive for an hour in the buses outside of town, kind of in the middle of nowhere, and stop for the night, stay at a hotel. And normally I don't, I don't eat after performing late because it's just not good for your voice. So, um, but I found myself in a hotel at 11 on Thursday night, and I was hungry, so I went down to the, to the lobby and I asked the lady, I'm like, is by chance, I know we're not a lot around, but and it's Thursday, but is there any place that might still be serving dinner? She said, funny enough, there's a, there's a restaurant right across the street, a sushi restaurant, a sushi bar, that serves till midnight. Okay. I'm thinking, hmm, a little of Wisconsin sushi. Right? It's a bit of Russian roulette, right? Well, I, you know, and uh, anyway, so we're sitting, on the, sitting at the lobby and the couch trying to decide what to do, and then Rob comes down and he asks the same question right, the lady at the desk. And she said, I just told that gentleman over there, you know, that there's a restaurant, it's so open till midnight. So he looks over at me and he's like, come on, man, let's go. So, all right, decision made. So we cross the street, we walk into this little place. And there was nobody in there. <laughs> it was never a good sign. <laughs> but so we sit down, and he immediately orders a bottle of sake. And I'm thinking, okay. And I'm telling him, I'm like, yeah, Rob, I don't really know, you know, drink. It's not good for my voice. You know, and he's like, come on, just join me. So I'm like, all right. So he talks me into it. Next thing I know, we haven't ordered any food. We've gone through two bottles of sake. <laughs> and uh, it's midnight at this point, and, and I look around, and the place is packed. And it's like, what going on? So it turns out, in the middle of nowhere, on Thursday night, in this little sushi bar, it's at midnight, it's karaoke night. Oh. <laughs> exactly. You have two very, very loose lead singers sitting in this place, like, it's karaoke <laughs> thing is, I was telling Rob, I'm, like, I'm terrified of karaoke. I, I, mean, it's, I think maybe because I'm a professional singer that, that it's just too much pressure because if I go up and I completely crash and burn, that's oh my God, horrible just filming or whatever. But, so um, he'd already, but as I'm having this conversation, he'd already put his name in the hat. So, as we're there, you hear this from the stage, you this, R. Thomas to the stage, please. Oh. <laughs> so he goes up, and I'm, it's pretty funny. He goes up and very smartly sings one of his own songs. Because <laughs> he can. So he goes up and sings one of his own songs and, you know, absolutely smashes it. He, he just sung this song in front of 6,000 people. <laughs> two hours he comes back and sits down. We have a good laugh about that. Well, he'd stuck my name in the hat as well. So right after that, he get get this Jay Richards to the stage. <laughs> oh, my God. So I just, that, that feeling of stress just kicked in. So I thought, okay, I'm going to take his lead. So I went up and sang one of, one of my own songs, right? And uh, Kenny Blue Cars, which was like a big hit at that time. But anyway, um, I, and I wrote the song, right? So I don't have to look at the screen. And, you know, <laughs> not a problem. And, and, I, and I thought I did a pretty good job. And I came back and sat down, and you know, we were having a good laugh over that. And there's this table next to us of these really rowdy folks. And one of the guys at the table leaned over and tapped me on the shoulder, and he's like, Hey man. Okay. That was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and this is the best part. He goes, it's not quite how the guy does it, but that's the best thing. <laughs> we laugh that part too. <laughs> and the beauty of it was is that all of a sudden all that pressure and stress just <laughs> melts away. Because we realized that these people have no idea that we're the guys that actually wrote this. <laughs> Just so awesome. So we thought, all right, screw it. We're gonna go sing everything. So we were just oh. going for it. And we were singing Queen, you know, Guns and Roses, you know, knees and that whole. Thing. And, uh, anyway, this next song I'm gonna sing for you is, is not an easy song to sing, but I thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a go. And if I crash and burn, no one will care. So, so that worked out really well. Anyway, but it went pretty well, so I'll sing it for you guys. Okay. Just imagine we're having sushi. See the stones set in your eyes. See the thorn twist in your side And I'll wait for you 
sliding hand and just a fade But a bit of hell she makes me wait And I wait for you And with or without you With or without you I, I can't leave We reach the shore You give it all But I want more And I wait For you And with or without you With or without you I, I can't leave With or And you give yourself away And you give yourself away And you give And you give And you give yourself away My hands are tied My body bruised She's got me left
let you know. Um, right, this is uh, from the first Dishwalla album. It's, uh, it was, the first record was a big rock record and, you know, you know big 90s thing. And uh, right before we were about to go record the album, my uh, A&R person, the A&R guy's like a liaison between the band and the label. He called me and said, hey, we just need one more thing. He said, we, we need a ballad on the album. So, uh, said, okay, so I wrote this a song called Give. <laughs>
Um, so he taught me how to play piano, taught me how to play guitar. And this next song is, this is the first song my dad ever taught me. And it's crazy because my dad passed about 14 years ago. He passed away from young. And um, there are no recordings of him anywhere singing or speaking. And it's weird over time, and you may have experienced this as well. I start to forget what his voice sounds like, right? which oh, breaks my heart, right? So, however, when I hear this song, I can hear him singing and I can hear him speaking to me and telling me, you know, no, no, that finger goes there and put that one there and you know, give me the directions and it, I'm immediately back there and just that power of nostalgia that music, you know, connects with is just ridiculously amazing. So, anyway, so, uh, yeah, here, here we go. It's a great song. It's a great song. Just enjoy it in on this on this <laughs> Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm That I know It's been coming for some time When it's over so they say It'll rain us on your day But I know Shiny Let's see. 
Uh, Alright, well, I'll play some on piano. These are beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Thank Rick. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, those are Eric. Those are Eric. <laughs> That's what the paycheck is. Taken by Eric? All these are. Every, Eric. Every, okay, yeah. right. Rick is filming. Yeah, Rick is filming. <laughs> Eric is, yeah. Eric's the photographer. Well, a couple of us have known him since Please kindergarten, so to me, he'll be Rick. 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 That's I know, that's what I mean. It's really it's Ricky. I remember when I hadn't seen him in a while, and I said, Ricky, he's like, uh, here. Rick. Uh, so this this song is another song that was on also on a different Smallville episode. Funny enough, um, we were we actually had three songs during that whole series, and you know, and, uh, to, and actually to make a connection for why that's kind of important is um, uh, 2019. I got a call from a promoter down in South America who wanted me to come and play a bunch of shows, and uh, I was thinking to myself. I think you've got the wrong guy. <laughs> you know? um, just because when I, you know, when I was in Dishwala, solo-wise, we never really worked those countries and promoted ourselves there or tried to get on the radio or anything. Um, but it works differently down there. Um, if it, you know, it turns out that, like for example, the first show that I went to play was in Lima, Peru, and the whole time I'm thinking they've got me confused with somebody else. And um, I show up at the venue, and it's a big, big venue, and I'm thinking, God, it's gonna be really embarrassing when he shows up. Um, but the place was packed, and the reason being is that uh, in in Peru, one of the biggest TV shows was Smallville. <laughs> so of course we had three songs on there, and so people could, you know, you hear a song on the show, you could call the radio station and say, "Hey, could you play this?" And, and they'll actually play it. It's not like here where you call up and they're like, "Hey, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that." <laughs> it's all you know, computer program these days. And, um, so, and there was another show we were on called Charmed that was big there as yeah. well, so uh, it, we had four or five songs on that. Anyway, so it was crazy, it was uh, absolutely packed and sold out, and this song, when I went to go play it, and this is their second language, There's, you know, they're not speaking Spanish, they knew every word and they were singing so loud that I could barely hear myself. I, I, tears were streaming down oh. my face. And I'm singing horribly off key because I can't sing my, hear myself. And the bass player in my band, because I we, we would start it, I just start playing piano, and then the whole band kicks in. And so he he filmed some of it, and it's just one of the most magical things I, in my life I have ever seen. So you just never know what's going to happen. Because I was about to say no. <laughs> I don't want to go embarrass myself, but anyway, very cool. Highly recommend Peru. Yeah, oh, the food is amazing too. Yeah. I don't know if you've been, but oh my gosh. Awesome. Hey. We've been to the um, Dells. Wisconsin Dells. <laughs> the Wisconsin Dells. Candy <laughs> <laughs> cheese. It's like tied for first with Dells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this is the song. It's called uh, Angels and Devils. Oh, yeah. Awesome.
I'm always gonna worry about the things that could make us cold. To see, well, I can see the pain in you, and I can see the love in you, and fight it all. The demons will take time, it will take time. Is up to fancy whiskey there? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, it is. Well, 
never had a dram before we start the ceremony. <laughs> I said, no a problem, man. You go. He said, aye, I think I will then. <laughs> and he did. It's a good time, so I highly recommend the highlights. Yeah. My wife says, as soon as we cross the border, my, my accent changes. <laughs> so I, we cross and you see the flag with the white stripes, and I turn to her and I say, I love you. Well Always done. have. <laughs> Always will. Well done. You don't know about that too risky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, I hadn't heard that yet, but I showed up, and it was a very, very small, just, just my mother and sons and things and a couple friends and, and Andrew and um, Andrew McLeod from the Clinton McLeod and uh, our, our Piper, who's now a good friend, um, his name's Callum Fraser, but his name is Spud the Piper. So, um, and he's like a true Piper. He's, he's almost impossible to understand, but uh, uh, I've, I've, I've learned now. But, uh, right, but then when I showed up, I had, we had brought some whiskey because uh, Spud said we have to do a proper Gaelic uh, toast, but we need whiskey. And he said, none of that shot, shite whiskey. He's got like a proper fancy whiskey. And I'm like, fancy whiskey, right, okay. I didn't know what that meant. I was like, fancy? Like, what does that mean? I didn't mean that meant expensive, apparently. So. But uh, anyway, yeah, pretty magical. Just oh, pretty magical place. Which castle? Uh, Alien Donnan Castle. It's, in, um, it's on Loch Alsh and Kyle of Loch Alsh. So that's where our, our, uh, our marriage certificate is from the Isle of Loch Alsh. So it's near uh, Isle of Skye, uh, which is just beautiful. Um, it's, it's a magical place, it really is. If you go there, and it doesn't matter where you're from, it, there's something pretty incredible about the human spirit that resides there, in, in my point of view. You know, it's, it's one. It's, it's, yeah. Cool. Uh, right, okay. Cool, so this, this is kind of interesting because this song uh, is an older song. It was on our first album, which was a big hit, you know, went gold and platinum long ago. And it was our second single on the album. And um, uh, our label didn't want to sell it as a single because they wanted people to buy the album. So uh, it was never available in CD or cassette single form. I think we just missed LPs, but uh, anyway, nowadays you can buy anything as a single if you want. Right? So, but because of that, the song just officially went as a single, went gold. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 So, very exciting. Very exciting. So here we go. It's Kenny Cars. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> or plus plus. Um, so, I mean, I still, because I, I, you know, I'm actually used to, to driving. Which every time I land in a different country, I have to get, remember, okay, right. Yeah, that's right. Myself recording the diesel on number four. So you yeah. said, yeah, um, on the pump fives are like, what are you pump? What are you pumping? You know, like <laughs> gas. <laughs> Natural gas. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it would be great. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Thank you so much. Gas. What? What gas will be? What? What? Anyway. Well, um, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to take. Rick, Rick, thanks so much for having me. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I'll be tearing down a little bit, but I'll, I'll be hanging out a little bit. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you for being here. Shake your hand and say hello and stuff. And thank you guys for, for listening. Oh, I'm so glad you do. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so, you know, last three years I just spent a lot of time in my bedroom just playing by myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a capo. So I've got one more for you. Um, it's another song that I know you guys all know the words. I think, in fact, I've decided that we were all born knowing the words to this particular song. You'll know what I mean in a second. Um, Can I add one thing? Yeah. This is Countryside Highway. So if you want to incorporate that into your countryside, oh. into your, oh, yeah. well, into your lyrics. Well, we are <laughs> okay, right. This is another song that uh, my father taught me too, so cool connection there as well. There we go. Driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should. 
should have been born yesterday, yesterday. Oh 